I can have your attention, please. I'm Terry Winfrey, and I'm the president of the Chicago Southland Chamber, and I am very thrilled to be able to welcome you here to this annual event, which we celebrate our board members from 2021, and then we welcome in also our board members from 2022. So we're going to hear a little bit of entertainment tonight. We're going to have some uh, presentations from a couple different people. But I would like to first start out by welcoming and thanking our sponsors. Events like this can't happen without having our sponsors. So if you have a program, and I think you all should have one on your table, please take a look at the back. Special thanks to NICOR Gas and Comcast Business. So Johan is here, Johan Fernando, thank you, and Comcast, uh, for Comcast and NICOR for their silver sponsorship. We also had bronze sponsorships. And you know, you can go ahead and clap. We are, we are no longer inside a little cube on your computer monitor where you're doing this fake clapping. So we can really clap and celebrate, celebrate being in person, celebrate seeing people and shaking hands and being able to celebrate everyone. So thank you to the sponsors. Thank you to Chuck Roby from Caldwell Banker, to Governor State University. Thank you, Lauren, thank you. And also to ComEd, to Benita Parker. So thank you to the sponsors. Also, thank you to, I have a team, so I, I wanna introduce my team because a lot of people don't realize what goes on behind the scenes and especially planning an event. Oh, my team is at the bar, what is that? <laughs> well, they were working before, so now they're at the bar. So Alessandra, please, yay, thank you, Alessandra, yay, right? Um, you get to see people in person. They're not, again, just in this little cube on your computer. Rojean, thank you. All right. Jorge Norick. Jorge. The Back to Business, man, we've been doing the Back to Business grant, so any questions about that, that's Jorge. And Marcellus, thank you, Marcellus, for all of your work with all of our marketing. And Larry Burroughs, the man behind the camera here. Thank you. Thank you, Larry. So I also want to point out that on the back of the, we have just a sampling of our events. We have events, we have like five events a month. So we have a sampling that's on the back. Please visit the website. There's a calendar there. You can attend these events. We are starting to have back to the, an in-person business after hours. And Heather's here somewhere. Heather Jones, where's Heather? Heather right here. We're gonna have a business after hours in downtown Park Forest in partnership with, with Heather and her team and that's gonna be March 31st. So that's coming up. So after that, every month we're gonna be committed. This is our event face-to-face -face. in February. We're committed to having face-to-face -face events. So um, I also have the privilege now of introducing some, I'll call them elected officials, but there's also some other people on my list that I wanted to point out because they are also representing organizations that we partner with. So, um, Ron Gardner, Village of Glenwood Mayor. Right, thank you. And I just mentioned Heather Jones, who's with Park Forest. So, Heather Jones, downtown Park Forest. Conrad Keebles, representing the Village of Orland Hills. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Jojo Martin, where'd she go? Richton Park, okay, sure. Rich Township, excuse me. And we also have the Village Manager from, from uh, Glenwood, over here, Brian Mitchell, mm -hmm. behind the pole. Mm -hmm. um, and then also um, Rick Reinbolt, the mayor, president of Richmond Park. Mm -hmm. And one of his trustees, Julian Alexander, thank you. And Mayor Bernard Ellsbury. All right. And then Rick Bryant, representing Congresswoman Robin Kelly's office. Joe Kennedy, did he come in? Joseph Kennedy? I didn't see him come in, but he's gonna probably be here later. Also from Village of Richton Park. Okay, so that is our elected officials and our dignitaries that we have. Everybody's a dignitary, so thank you all for being here. Uh, now, one of our very special dignitaries, I'm gonna ask Connie Sims to come up. She's going to share a little bit about her year. I wanna thank her personally, it's been a fabulous year. Okay. Just definitely enjoyed working with you this last year, so thank you. Thank you so much. Okay. All right. It is so good to be out again and not... So I don't know about you, but I'm about zoomed out. 
Well, good evening to everyone. First of all, I wanted to take this opportunity to thank you all for coming out to share this event. I would like to also take this opportunity to thank the Chamber for allowing me to serve as their chairperson for 2021. We had a very productive and exciting year for the Chicago Southland Chamber of Commerce. Along with growing our membership with over 50 plus new members, and we should talk about We also had an opportunity to have several of our great signature events. We had our annual recognition and installation celebration, our annual golf outing, the holiday sports luncheon, and we even created a new chamber night with the Illinois Philharmonic Orchestra in downtown Flossmoor. And for those of you that attended that, that was a wonderful event. Um, and Tom will be talking more about it because yes, we will be doing it again this year. Even in the middle of a pandemic, the chamber consistently served our members by hosting monthly meet and greets. The government affairs and the healthcare committees had numerous webinars, which were very informative for our members and the chamber hosted bi-monthly mayor's panels. The chamber was a sub-grant navigator for the DECO Back to Business in the Southland, which assisted small businesses with the B2B application process. We hosted several meetings and made numerous visits to small businesses throughout the Southland in 2021. We held a membership drive in October which we welcome 27 new members. The Chamber continues to focus on increasing our membership and to ensure that our members have access to resources and information to grow their business. The Chamber had an exciting year in 2021 and look forward to an even more successful year in 2022, promoting economic development throughout the Chicago Southland. I would like to recognize a few members for going above and beyond. First, our CPA and accountant, Edward Millikent. He's senior management with Audit Wood Five. <laughs> Thomas Gardner, who is a partner in Gardner, Kolsch, Westberg, and Rona. <laughs> we couldn't do it without them. Nancy Cooper, who is the CEO of Servico. I don't know if you all know, but Nancy allowed us to use space in her office for several years, which allowed the chamber to actually have an address to work out of. So we definitely appreciate that. At this time, I would like to acknowledge some of our committee co-chairs. The membership committee is co-chaired by Benita Parker from ComEd and Nancy Cooper and Servico. You can just raise your hands while I announce your name. The Government Affairs Committee. This is co-chaired with Rick Bryant, who represents the Congresswoman Kelly's office. Rick is here with us tonight. And Mark Thompson with Hanson Professional Services. The mayor's panel, which is co-chaired by Ron Gardner, who is the mayor of Glenwood, and Conrad Peebles of Orland Hill. The health care committee, which is chaired by Paul Donahue Ingalls Foundation, who's with us today and Celeste Basin from Superior Ambulance. <laughs> PR and Marketing, which is chaired by Christina Claveni, Rike Office Interiors. She will be leading us this year because she is taking a new position, but we really want to thank her for all that she has done in 2021. Strategic Planning, which is chaired by Joe Elsman, Penn Real Estate, and Steve Papa George, Marine Valley Community College. 
The Workforce Development Committee, chaired by Craig Schmidt, Calumet Area Industrial Council, and Steve Papajort. The Chamber is so thankful for all of these people for putting in the time that they do to make our Chamber successful. So we want to take this time to thank you for all that you do. And at this time, I'm excited to introduce our 2022 chairman <laughs> that I get to pass the gravel to, Mr. Tom Fagan. Tom, or do you mean Tommy Fagan? There he is. Just one voice singing in the darkness. All it takes is one voice. Singing so they hear what's on your mind. When you look around, you'll find there's more than a voice singing in the darkness. Joining with your one voice. Singing with one voice. And with that, I pass it on to you. Yeah, Benita, and what, what, oh, there you go. <laughs> well, thank you so very much. Uh, good evening and welcome to the Chicago Southland Chambers Recognition and Board Installation. My name is Tom Fagan, and I am the incoming chairman. First of all, Excuse me. you're no longer incoming? Oh, I, I, I am now the chairman. 
There we are. Thanks, Jerry. Um, first of all, I'd like to thank my dear friends um, and my wife, Dawn, uh, for helping me uh, to give you a little glimpse of where I've come from in my life and what in influenced me, which is, of course, the arts. So thank you guys so much. Um, a, a little other shout out to my mom and dad who can't, of course, be here. They, they left us um, a couple, two, three years ago, and without them, um, I would not be where I am now. Uh, so within my first career in the arts, it taught me that relationship building and have a, having a strong work ethic were vital to success. These traits go hand in hand in working with the chamber, and as chairman, I strive to be a role model for, that, for the organization. My deepest thanks goes to Heather Jones. Heather, where are you? Who initially uh, saw that I wanted to make a difference and asked me to be on the board. Uh, secondly, to Craig Schmidt, where are you? Craig, um, who asked me to be on the executive board. These two people were um, very much mentors um, in my life and I wouldn't be standing here. And then of course, Connie Sims, who asked me to fill some pretty big shoes by succeeding her. They were all instrumental in where I stand today. Under Terry's direction and leadership, we will be in one voice as the Chicago Southland Chamber of Commerce. At a very young age, I listened to those lyrics and sang that song in my room countless times. It takes just one voice and everyone will sing. Such truer words were never spoken. Our one voice collectively can make us the leaders in driving economic growth, diversity, and most importantly, drive business to this area. Initiatives in our strategic planning, government affairs, and healthcare forms can only spur the discussion into action, which in turn gives us resonance in the community. I'd like to thank my wife personally, Dawn, for allowing me uh, to uh, to have all these countless hours of meetings and events with the chamber. Hopefully she's with me a lot this year, so I appreciate that. Yeah. You are my rock and I love you very much. To the people that I've served with on the boards these last three years, thank you for sharing your knowledge to help us grow as a chamber. We are on the upswing and it is due to all your efforts no one person does it alone. It is the collective one voice of all of you that is vital to our longevity. Thank you so much. So um, before I bring up my 2022 board, I want to thank the past chairmen who are in the room, Mr. Sam Baylar. Jorge Nordic, Mr. Ron Gardner, Craig Schmidt. Um, I'm going to uh, announce all these board members. Please come forward and we will get our group photo in and get that out of the way. So Tom Fagan, chair, Connie Sims, past chair, Benita Parker, 2023 chair elect. Tom Gardner, legal counsel. Ed Milkint, our treasurer. He unfortunately can't be with us tonight. Johan Fernando, our secretary. Thank you so much for stepping up. Um, we had a, a vacancy on the executive board and Johan graciously accepted, so thank you. Ryan Condon, uh, newly on the board, advocate over healthcare, cannot be with us tonight. Uh, Nick Marchioni, AFC Financial Advisory Group. He has stepped up to fill a board term of one year for us. Thank you so much. Thank you for being a friend and confidant with me. Craig Schmidt, Calumet Area Industrial Council. Jennifer Malazzo, Dykstra Home Services. A new board member. Chuck Groby, Caldwell Banker, Commercial Real Estate. Lauren Healy, Governor State University. I've been with Lauren here for a long time. So 
She's one of my partners in crime that started with me. Mark Thompson, Hanson Professional Services, can't be with us tonight. Paul Donahue, Ingalls Development Foundation. Rob McCaleb, Live Nation. He can't be with us tonight. Vicki Brown, Millicent and Associates Incorporated. She can't be with us tonight. Steve Papa George, Marine Valley Community College. Patricia Eves, Night Court Gas, one of our main sponsors. We thank her, thank her for that. Um, she is not available tonight to be with us either. Rick Bryant, Office of Congressman Woman Kel Congresswoman, Congresswoman Ro Robin Kelly. Ron Gardner, Village of Glenwood, our mayor of Glenwood. Conrad Keebles, one of my guys that started with me, or I started with him, long time ago, Village of Oiling Hills. Jeff Revere, Revere Consulting, could not be with us tonight. Dr. Cherie Board, Specialty Physicians of Illinois. And last but not least, Mayor of Hazelcrest, Hazelcrest, Leonard Allsbury.